DeSantis has just started the end of the Rona lockdowns. I'm Andrew Esquire, and this is The Legal Mindset, where we help you be your own judge. Now look, it's been a long journey with the Rona. It's over a year at this point. I mean, when you look back at pictures in your phone of a year ago, you were remembering that 14 days to stop the spread and how that became, well, over 365 days. We're still in it. And largely across the US and across the world, Rona restrictions are still in place. In fact, in many places, it's more strict than it was a year ago, particularly in relation to travel. I mean, everything is still largely locked down and tourism in a lot of places is still trying to recover. But one place that is recovering much faster than the rest of the US is the state of Florida, my home state. And why is Florida doing so well? Well, because they've largely lifted the Rona restrictions. And as of September of last year, they allowed most businesses to open. There was nothing at a state level preventing businesses from opening. But here's the problem. The state wasn't the only entity trying to stop business, keeping businesses from open, keeping people from going out, keeping businesses really restricted and held back. No, it wasn't the state. It was the local government. And I think a lot of people forget exactly how much their local government affects them. Your local government is in charge of so many things. They're in charge of your schools. They're in charge largely of your roads. And they're in charge of most of the businesses. They do a lot of the licensing, the permitting, the regulations that apply to businesses just near you. That's done by local government. Think your city, think your county. Throughout the pandemic, these local governments have put in a lot of restrictions. They've said, hey, you've got to wear masks. Hey, you've got to social distance. Hey, you've got to follow these hygiene protocols. Hey, you've got to do all these things for your employees. And if you do all of those, we'll think about letting you open up and only at part capacity. Well, Governor DeSantis in Florida has said enough is enough. If you believe in the miracle Rona juice, if you believe that it will prevent you from getting the Rona, if you believe that science, well, if you believe that science, then you should believe that that will protect you from the beer bug, that you can go out and go about your business. And really government, once you have that protection, once you're able to go get it if you want it, like you are in the state of Florida and throughout most of the US, almost everybody is able to go out and get that little stabby if you want the stabby. It's eligible for pretty much everybody. In fact, even Joe Biden said that, hey, by May, everybody in the US should have access to a stabby if they want that stabby. Well, guess what? We're here. It's May. So the governor of Florida said it's time to lift these restrictions. Government really has no more business regulating individuals and businesses further. At this point, it should be up to individuals and businesses on how to protect themselves. If they choose to go out and get the stabby, they should be able to do that. And they are able to do that. And if they choose to implement very strict restrictions at their business, they are free to do that. And so today, Governor DeSantis issued an executive order that said, all local government restrictions, anything that a city, that a county has done that would require you to do something extra because of the beer bug, that's repealed, that's overturned. So cities like Orlando, Miami, Tampa, Jacksonville, if they had strict provisions, if they were really, really strict about something related to Rona, that's overturned. Now, that doesn't prevent Miami or Orlando or Tampa from coming back up with laws relating to health or relating to Rona. But the big key is that all of these powers were enacted as emergency powers. They were done pretty much unilaterally by the mayors. The mayor said exactly what they want to do and they did it like that immediately. When you're dealing with laws, you've really got to have public hearings. You've got to have public input. You've got to have people looking at these documents and giving their comment. And let's be real, Rona is here and it's not going anywhere 
anytime soon. It's not going to disappear just like other things aren't going to disappear that have been around for a very long time in the health sphere. Just like those other diseases aren't going to disappear, Rona is not going to disappear. And it's not the burning emergency that it was last year when we had no idea about it. We have more data, we have more science, so we're gonna study it over the years, we're gonna learn more about it, but we don't need these emergency provisions. We should be going through the regular processes. The state of Florida said, look, you've gotta have public hearings on this. You've gotta enact laws the regular way that other governments would enact laws. And honestly, that is going to subject them to a lot of scrutiny because they're going to have businesses saying, hey, don't enact these laws. And more importantly, Governor DeSantis in the Senate bill he signed, SB 2006, had said that anything related to the pandemic, to the extent that it restricts liberties and freedoms and business, has to be not only a compelling interest, but has to be narrowly tailored. Now that's a strict scrutiny standard. That means that it is looked at very, very closely. It's something that infringes on our rights as individuals, the rights of businesses. So DeSantis said it's got to be very, very narrow. It's got to be very, very specific and it's got to be limited in time. And that's been the big thing throughout all of this. There's been no time limit on these things. We don't know when the mask mandate is going to roll off in California or New York, but we do know in states like Florida. We do know in states like Texas. Check out my video on Texas. Don't mask with Texas if you want to find out about that. DeSantis has said that going forward, we're not going to have these crazy emergency declarations in the state of Florida. And why is this so important? Why is it so critical that DeSantis did this? Well, think about 2024. Who is going to run on the Republican ticket in 2024? Now, Ron DeSantis is setting himself up as a leader for the red team. He is coming out strong. And if the big T is not coming back, then it might be RD from Florida who's leading the ticket in 2024. And that's huge. So by seeing him take this big step, in preempting the local governments and essentially erasing the lockdown in Florida, you're going to see him push really far in that campaign. But expect liberal media backlash because, as always, it's still the war against Trump.